So in iOS 18.4 beta one, we didn't have a ton of new Apple intelligence features, but there are two we did not talk about in our initial video. Some people might like it. Some might just think this could be glazed over very easily. And that's going to be sketch style finally added to image playground. For those of you not aware, this is something Apple did talk about back in WWDC of last year. And this will allow you to create an image and using this little plus sign here, change the actual style. So up until now, we always had animation and illustration. And as you can see, toggling between the two will give you a different image. And now finally we have sketch and it does look pretty good. So this is just one I did randomly earlier. Let's go ahead and actually cancel this one and let's do one together. So we'll go ahead and click a plus sign. Let's go and do a party with fireworks uh, in a starry night. So once you do that, we have it defaulting to the actual animation style, which is what you see here. If you want, again, you can toggle to illustration and it will regenerate that in that style. And now finally we have sketch and I do think sketch does look pretty cool here. Again, I don't know how often or regularly people are using image playground. We genuinely do not use this too much, but if it's something you like utilizing, it is now available. Let's go ahead and do one more as well. Let's just say a dog running on the beach with a bright blue sky with the sun shining. So it'll take this prompt, generate our image of this weird Scooby-Doo looking dog. We'll go ahead and hit plus and jump right into sketch. And there you go. There is that new sketch style of the animal with that prompt we designed. If you wanted to look at the other one, obviously illustration was the third option. And there you go. So pretty neat, not here nor there. We're gonna go ahead and move past this one. And this second piece here is something I think a lot more people will find useful. And this is priority notification. Again, this is something Apple talked about for a while. It is finally in beta one, but weirdly it is not under Apple intelligence and Siri when we first looked. So we kind of missed this. It's actually in the notification settings. So if you click notifications here and then look under Apple intelligence, you can see right here, priority notifications are actually off by default. You have to toggle this on. And when you do, you can see it says Apple intelligence can show you notifications that may be important in a separate section of the lock screen. So you can catch up on what you might have missed. You can still swipe up to view all notifications. So this is something I think a lot more people will find useful and use it on the day to day. Again, in beta one though, this is off by default. You do need to toggle it on. Since we did our initial video, we have toggled it on this whole time and I haven't seen a single priority notification yet. We've gotten a couple from text messaging, emails, uh, obviously YouTube studio has sent us some, but nothing has shown up separately that we could have recorded to show you what it looks like, but this will give you a good idea right from this illustration here. So as you can tell, a couple of new things here in beta one that we didn't talk about earlier, nothing groundbreaking, nothing crazy. I'm happy to see this, but any sort of smarter Siri definitely seems to be on hold now into 18.5 uh, or at least further betas of 18.4, possibly beta two or three. So yeah, just wanted to let you guys know this is now available. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace.